Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we are actually back for a little bit of a rainy day here at Lime's Mud Park. Now, as you can see, we've got the r, &R Customs 3500 there set up on 40-inch dualies with their giant gooseneck, and we are ready to get some of our rigs out to the mud. Now, not all the rigs that we have are shown right here. We also have that Duramax back there that you guys haven't seen in a long time, and we also have this guy chilling over here that isn't necessarily ready to go to the mud pits just yet. The engine isn't quite ready, but there's some really cool stuff in store with this guy right here. So, first off, we're going to have to load everything up, and then we're going to have to pick what area of the map we're going to head to. And I think we're probably going to load the Duramax up first. So we'll head on over here. We'll go ahead and hop in it and fire it up. Now, let's go ahead and see... We'll swap into never mind. Yes. There's really no way to do that without freaking out the game. So really what you end up having to do is you really end up having to just go to the map. But let's fire this thing up. God, it sounds so good. It sounds so good. What time is it in game right now? Dude, it's afternoon. That's a gloomy afternoon. I'll tell you. Like... Man, I figured it would either be, like, really late afternoon or maybe, like, early morning, but man, is it a rainy day out here. Now, I have never actually loaded this truck up on this trailer before, so I'm really hoping that all goes well trying to load it up. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay. Now, occasionally, just occasionally, some rigs will have issues going up a certain set of ramps. Like, especially if the tires don't agree with each other, or if, like, the tires don't agree with the ramp model. Sometimes things can get just a little out of hand. Try to make it just a tiny bit more straight on the trailer. There we go. So she's good to go right there. And I know I definitely want the Bronco. I know I want the Bronco, no question about it. I might be able to line it up. Let's see. Easy. There you go. Now, my question is, if we... I think, yeah, I think we can do it. I think we can actually load up the side-by-side -side as well. It's going to be close. It's going to be tight, but I think we can do it. Like, I think there's a potential chance that it could fit. It would definitely fit with the smaller tires, or at least potentially so. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is too close. Let me put it in. Low minus. Yeah, no, it ain't going any further than that. Yeah, it is not going any further than that. Let's see if the side by side packs. I doubt it. Whoa, it packs. Alrighty then. What about the ramps? Now, if I try to bring the ramps up, will this get angry with me? No, it'll just kind of balance there. Huh? I mean, you know what? I'm actually kind of happy with it because that means that, I mean, yes, the, the ramp is going to kind of bounce around a little bit, but, you know, I mean, in real life, sometimes you have to get a little bit creative, so I'd say we definitely got a little creative loading this particular lineup of trucks up. And I think it actually looks pretty dang cool, especially with your kind of variety of side-by-side -side mud truck and lifted solid axle swap Duramax. Like, I think it's actually a really creative lineup of trucks, really creative lineup of trucks. And now we're going to go ahead and head to the mud pits themselves and see what we can do. Let's ease it on out of here. I don't really want anything to freak out. Because if something freaks out, we're in big trouble. Especially if the trucks glitch into the trailer and throw us into the air. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. It really, it takes a while to slow down with all that weight on the back. Like, it takes a minute. Alright. So I think we're going to enter from this side. Because that's actually a really good way to get to... Yes! That's the, that's the really big mud pit that you actually see in the thumbnail. So... Or not necessarily the thumbnail of the video, but the thumbnail of the map on mod.io. So we're going to actually head down the highway. Oh my god. This thing has the max engine in it. And it even, even with the max engine in it, it is taking a minute to get up to speed. Like, it's taking longer than I feel like it normally would to get up to speed. And that's saying a lot. Okay, I know I'm not going very fast, but like, you have to dramatically slow down going around corners with a trailer in this truck. 
only because of the fact that this truck will let the trailer pass it if you don't do it right. Uh, genuinely, it will let the trailer pass it if you don't do it right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop at the gas station real quick. We'll get some snacks for the road. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll top off on diesel fuel. We'll get some snacks for the road. No worries. All right. Whoa, okay. All right. Yeah, that was a little sketchy. And fuel up. And let's go and fire it back up. And hope our front axle doesn't leave the ground again. Yeah, our front axle leaving the ground is not exactly a preferred scenario. So I'm going to try to not let that happen again. All right. Come on. Lay the power to it. Let's go. Oh, not bad. There we go. Come on. Come on. Dude, I'm literally like, I'm full throttle right now. And it's not going that fast necessarily, but we will have to be careful when it comes to slowing it down. Because if we mess up slowing it down, we, oh, we got a little bit of a trailer sway going on. And it's not much right now, but once if it starts to get worse, it's going to get real sketchy real quick. And I really don't want to get like super friendly with one of those light poles. I really don't. That's like the lowest thing on my list of priorities right now. All right, slowly applying the brakes. Come on. Let's make a right and head for the mud park. This is where the fun's going to start. Oh, actually, though, that's really pretty. Like, when you have the sun uh, coming through the clouds like that, that's actually really cool. It, it's, it gives you this vibe that you don't really get in the game all that often. And it's this, like, this almost, like, post-rain. Uh, I really, really love that. I think that looks super cool. I think that looks super cool. I'm just, like, all about this picture right now. I'm all about that, like, moment in game. Looks so dang good. God, you see the entire suspension just twist up under the weight? All right, let's see if I throw it in high. See if I can just lock it there and have a sustained speed both on flat ground and up the hills. Because if I, if I can have it on flat ground, I really hope I can have it on up the hills. Come on. It's digging in. Uh-oh. Oh, it's actually digging, digging. Like, initially it was doing the kind of digging I wanted it to do, and then after that it started doing the digging I didn't want it to do, so let's not let that get out of hand, because it will sink, and it'll sink fast. Oh my god, all right. Yep, we may or may not have scraped that branch. I didn't realize that was gonna be a thing. I didn't realize it was gonna be an issue for us, actually, when we went to scrape that branch. Just keeping an eye out on where we're headed. Now, there will be a couple of small mud pits along this route, but they're not the big ones that we're looking for. I've really been wanting to take that Bronco especially out here for quite some time because after seeing how well it did on summer testing grounds, dude, like, that little mud pit right there, the Bronco would eat that up. Like, don't even, you know, don't even bother stopping for that one. It would absolutely eat it up. We're going to the big mud pit. Which, to be fair, should be just a couple corners out. Not necessarily the swamp, because if we go to the swamp, that'd be different. But I really just want to get this thing to, again, the main mud pit. Let's see. That should be the racetrack. Yep. And then, oh, it's right here on our right. Almost missed my turnoff. Let's not do that. I would definitely prefer to not have that happen. All right, boys trailer parking area and we're going we're gonna go ahead and get this whole setup unloaded dude dude this is gonna be so sick oh my god all right when you when you hit the e-brake it does get a little weird oh what come on i forgot i have to have i always forget that i have to have the engine on to lower the ramps it's such a weird dynamic you know what i mean all right we're gonna get the side by side off first back it up there we go all right we'll put you back here e-brake on and engine off and actually we'll just put it in high mode because we're about to hit dude like we're about to hit the mud pits anyway so it might as well be in high suspension mode fired it up basically fired it up in reverse all right we got the bronco out of there Good to go, and shut it down, and now we just have to get the Duramax off the trailer, and then we'll be good to go. 
God, listen to that turbo just whistling and spooling up. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy backed up. Park you right next to the side-by-side. -side. And now, I'm going to actually get it out of reverse because I'd rather not just leave it sitting in reverse. And we're going to go ahead and actually refresh the afternoon real quick. And now, I think we're going to probably start in the Duramax because I have a feeling that performance-wise, it's going to go this truck, side-by-side, -side, Bronco. So I'm thinking we run the Duramax first. And basically, the name of the game here is very simple. We're going to go until we get stuck. Three, two, one, let's go. Laid the power to it. Not bad. Dude, that's pretty awesome. And honestly, that's pretty legit. The fact that it's actually like making its way through here with, I mean, they're big tires, but they're not necessarily as big as like, say the Bronco, for example, and this thing is heavy as well. So uh, that's a really respectable job there. That was awesome. All right, next pit, let's go. Oh my God. All right, I'm turning the lockers on for sure. Whoa. I don't know how I'm not getting engine damage right now. I feel like that might be a glitch within the mod, but holy smokes, that should have given us engine damage. Like, that genuinely should have given us engine damage. Holy cow. All right, that thing actually already really impressed me. So let's try those same two obstacles with the side-by-side -side and see how it does. Fire it up. And let's go. Now, this guy's going to be quick, but due to these narrow tires, it's also going to do a really good job of cutting through the mud. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. All right, I'm going to give it one opportunity because I really thought we had that. I'm going to give it, like, one winch recovery because I genuinely thought we had that. I genuinely thought we did. Yeah, these, like, narrow mud tires, they do a really good job of just cutting through the mud. Again, basically submerging itself almost fully at this point. Come on. There we go. This is going to fully submerge it. Oh my god. Oh! That stalled it out completely. Well, I guess we know how much of a, how much of a, of a, like, a depth that side-by-side -side can take. Now, because I'm planning on running that same obstacle section in the Bronco, I'm gonna use the Duramax to pull the side-by-side -side out. I think it's roughly here. Okay, there it is. Come with me, bud! There we go. All right, there's one side-by-side -side rescued. All right, we're going to go ahead and disconnect that winch. Stop engine. And, all right, you're off. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that it was off. Now, for the Bronco. Now, we all know how crazy this thing was in the mud on the summer testing grounds. So let's hope it can do the same job here. And go! I'm going to try not to go too fast off the jump because I really don't want to, like... Oh, my God. Oh my god. Dude! I'm gonna do a loop around the mud pit just because. It's crazy. You have to, like, modulate the throttle to make it not flip over on itself in the mud. That is nuts! Alright, and get into it! Oh, I'm just flat out right now. I'm just, like, hoping and praying for the best. Made it through the whole thing. Oh, no. Yes. All good. It, if I fits, I sits. I'm good. All right. So let's see. I wonder about this one. I've never thrown this rig in here before. Yo. Dude. Okay. So to put that in perspective, to put in perspective what this thing just did, there's very few. I don't think I've ever driven any other truck that will do what that thing just did that effortlessly. That was, not only was it 100% effortless, but it was also so fast. I mean, most trucks that are this fast will just spin and dig. That's really the, the general rule of thumb of most trucks that are this fast. But these skinny tires are like, these skinny tires are the name of the game out here in the mud. Tall but skinny tires. God! That is so wild, dude. 
yeah, this thing is definitely the star of the adventure out here in the mud. 100% this thing is the star of the adventure. Let's see. I want to go over there and see what I can do with that one. Now, I'm pointing exactly away from it right now. So, I have to turn all the way back around and hammer down this way. Let's see. Oh! Again, it just eats up the mud like it doesn't even matter. Wow. Now, let me see if I can just, like, nail it off of this jump and have it be okay. Hmm. I don't know about that. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, that was so sick. Dude, just threw it back into high, and it was fine. 100% fine. That's amazing. That is absolutely am oh. oh no. <laughs> hey guys. What's up? How are you doing over here? Oh, you know, just hanging out. What are you doing? Ah, it's okay. I'm I'm turtling right now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's <laughs> It's 100% fine. Nothing to see here. Do not worry about one single solitary thing. Now, as we have come to this point in the test and in the video, I'm actually going to grab the 3500. Now, the reason for that is because I'm going to detach it, and then I'm going to fire it up, and I'm going to see what happens if I throw the 3500 into the mud with this exact setup in... Well, wait a minute. I got the towing gearbox in it right now. Let's go ahead and uh, change that gearbox tune real quick. Three, two, one, go. It's probably going to nosedive right off the bat. I am well aware of that. That's why I'm not going that fast. I mean, hey, it ain't doing as bad as I thought it was going to do. That's actually pretty good. Look at that. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's a little stuck now. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's about to end up with a lot of water damage, boys. She's about to end up with a lot of water damage. Or maybe not. I mean, we're just above the dangerous water height. Although the water is in the truck. So, yeah. Let's... Oh my god. It keeps telling me, cockpit not available underwater. And I'm like, okay, now we're alright. Now you decide it's okay. It's definitely not going to be okay with this, though. Holy smokes. Yeah, it's um, it's a little bit out of its comfort zone there. Let's just kind of drive it up and out of that because I do not foresee it being happy if we leave it in there for much longer. But if you guys enjoyed this mudding adventure, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.